I wanted to be a, you know, a little bit, a little bit different with the frame that I was doing, really with the whole build, and keep it um, more unique and things that really excited me more than just vintage parts. I mean, because I'll always mix in vintage parts, um, you know, things from Harley history that have a soul and sort of a, uh, you know, tell a story. There's always there's always parts of that in my builds, but. Um, for the frame and a lot of the details along the way, I definitely wanted to make it unique and special and one of a kind. One of the main things that I wanted to uh, try to do with this build was use parts that I already had around the shop. You know, use existing things that I could modify, materials I already had, and, um, and components that I could work with to build something new and unique and, uh, and not just be you know, pouring over catalogs and, and calling up other other shops to send me stuff that they make. I wanted to try to make as much as I could here from scratch and make it special. And speaking of the front end, um, I'm definitely running a steering damper, which I've always run. And going back um, back a lot of years to where uh, to when I used to ride with, um, with Larry, and we would ride doing you know stunts and. And uh, you know, standing up on the bar, on the on the seat, and standing up on the gas tank, and and all that kind of you know, surfing the bike. Um, the steering damper really comes into play when you've got a shallow rake, like a 30 to 30, you know, two degree rake, and um, for high speed stability. So I always run a steering damper for high speed stability on a shallow rake motorcycle. And when you're building bikes around New York City, you need to have a shallow rake tight turning radius and tight maneuverability to get in and out of this traffic. You know, it's all, you know, it's race bike technology um, kind of transferred over into chopper building. And it's something that, um, you know, Larry used to do for years and then I picked up from him 20 years ago and I've done it myself, you know, run a steering damper on my choppers for the past 20 years. And, and if you get into the stunts, you know, as far as uh, choppers are concerned, you know, you get into um, you know, standing up on the bike or surfing the bike or anything like that, then that really helps in uh, keeping the front end true, going straight down the road, because you don't want that thing flopping around when you don't have your hands on the bars. Save me first. <laughs> Second and third. Well, one of the things that um, I think is really been unique to me so far about uh, Born Free this year, since this is the first one that I've been asked to participate in, it's, it's been amazing how much people, builders that are involved, are sharing their work and showing what they do because, you know, it's, um, it's such a flip, it's such a turnaround, 180 degrees between years ago when everybody would, you know, kind of hide the projects and and sort of sit on all the details until the last minute but um, it seems like now since information and uh, imagery and you know what somebody is doing behind closed doors tends to be so visible and available anyway um, people are just kind of putting it out there and the guys that are involved in this show this year I mean, it's blowing my mind. I mean, I just, I gotta say, it's its phenomenal. And some guys I had known, some guys I hadn't heard of, you know, some guys I'm just getting to know. And um, and it's really uh, kind of taken me out of my shell a little bit because I tend to stay kind of closed off and um, shut the doors and kind of do my own thing. And, and it's been just amazing. its It's blowing my mind what people are doing for this event this year.